a week ago found out I've, I've made the track champions league um, Woo! yeah yeah um unreal uh opportunity um so what is the champions league for people who don't know oh, okay so uh essentially it's a series of five races over six weeks and it is basically like condensed track racing so there's a sprint Karen scratch race and elimination and they're all a lot shorter than they normally would be with the aim is fitting as much racing as possible into the shortest amount of time possible to make it more enjoyable and more easy to understand for TV viewers so the ultimate goal is to get more people into track cycling because it is the perfect spectator sport so what they've done is they've got the top track cyclists in each discipline and each gender from around the world and then thrown in a couple of wild cards and um, somehow I wrangled my way in this wild card so here we are um, so how many people do they select and how many people get wild cards top six from world championships in the sprint and top six from world championships in the Kieran uh, but there was a lot of crossover there with, with the Dutch guys and, and outside of that I think they went in and chose a few wild cards um, kind of depending on I think they wanted like one person from each continent, which I think is might have be how I got a spot. Um, well, first race here in Palmer on Saturday this weekend, the 6th of November, and then in a couple of weeks from now we'll, we'll be racing in Lithuania, and then on the 3rd and 4th of December we'll be racing back to back in the UK, and then on the 11th of December we'll be racing in Tel Aviv in Israel, which is That's just so super cool. exciting. Um, so I've been hearing a lot of rumours that uh, Jordy just got the wild card because of the moustache, so we'll see what he thinks about that. I, uh, I actually heard it was for the sunflower shirt and the ridiculous yellow bike, but... I think he's going to be uh, bringing quite a vibe to this Champions League. Hopefully he's the, the people's favourite. <laughs> the people's champion, if that's a thing. Yeah. Mate, give, it, give us a bit of a, an insight, a little prediction. Oh, I don't know, man. Um, We're going to aim to follow you through these races. Okay, okay, okay. So, I you think... Know. I think I'll probably... It'll be a steep learning curve for the couple for the first couple of weeks. Um, the last time I raced at this level was World Champs 2018. Um, so, I think for the first couple of weeks, I'll probably be finding my feet a little bit. Um, and, so did uh, you did you expect to get a wild card to this Champions League, and when did you find out? I actually, uh, no, I didn't expect it at all. Um, I mean, I applied, and then didn't really hear anything, and not so much gave up on on the hope, but sort of gave it out to the universe and said, if it's meant to be, it will be, and, and it came back. Um, and yeah, I'm just so grateful the opportunity and then I'm really excited to be even able to help Jordan out for this Champions League because I'll be uh, I'll be getting to see the top riders in the world who have been idolizing for years and you see them on yeah. TV and at the Olympics and I'll get to compare myself to Jordan right now. <laughs> yeah. I'll get to compare myself to Jordan in training and then see how he goes yeah and then it's gonna be so motivating to see the best guys in the world week in week out and just constantly being reminded of where I want to be. Yeah. Because for so long we just train by ourselves and we don't really get to check in with how everyone else is going. And it's hard to remember what you really want and remember the level you want to be at unless yeah. you're constantly like confronted with it. So I think it's gonna to help to bring us to a new level. If yeah. you're if you're around people that can ride nine two there's no way you're all not of a fast sudden that. nine six nine eight ten oh doesn't sound that fast no. it doesn't sound very unachievable so yeah. i think it's going to be eye-opening and help dissolve some of the limits and remind us that these people who win all these world championship gold medals they're human as well yeah so i think there'll be a lot of people interested in what it's actually like to experience that and to follow you and your journey and try and live vicariously through you so yeah well I think that's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'd, you know, I mean, I've just been loving sharing what we've been doing because, especially back home, people can't do anything. Um, so, you know, anything that we can share and anything that you guys do want to know or experience sort of through us, like, yeah, let us know. Five days, then race one. Okay, we're recording.
recording. So how are you feeling? How long till your first race? I am just stoking. We've got 40 minutes until first race. Uh, I'm in heat five of the three up sprints against just two animals, I assume. Um, and we're frothing, full froth. How are you? How do you expect to perform today? I expect to perform the best that I can. Um, yep, no idea what to expect. Can race a three up at this level. Um, so we're just gonna go out and have a blast and try a couple things and um, yeah, see how we go. Rumor has it that the, the lack of mass dash may cost you 30 watts. What do you have to say to that? Oh, so the, obviously I've lost morale because moustache equals morale which equals speed. But what I've done is left room for more growth. So so if you grow a moustache again in the future, you're going to go even faster? I think so. So it's like the farmer, you know, when you grow bamboo, it takes 10 years of watering every single day and it doesn't grow at all. And then in six weeks, it grows 100 feet, right? Did the bamboo grow in 10 years or six weeks? That's the question. So we've got six weeks now to grow a mustache. We'll see. Out of bamboo. Out of bamboo. Right. Um, anything we should expect from these, this first race? Any heads up, any insight for the fans? Oh. Expect the unexpected. Oh boy, okay. Um, <laughs> first race, racing Lendl and Big Jeff, three up match sprint. I tried to go to the front early, because that's the, uh, that's the best place to be. Uh, evidently, Jeffrey had the same idea and didn't let me have one. Uh, so I was just battling for second the whole time and hung on till the end for a respectable third place, I think. Uh, <laughs> It was so much fun. I am fizzing. So cool. So what's next for you? A couple of hours and then we've got a Karen. Karen, um, first round, top two go through. I love the Karen. So we'll see how we go. Let's go. Let's go. Woo. Right, are we on? Yeah. So We're rolling. How did that go? You just finished your Karen. Yep. And it's the first, end of your first Champions League. Um, right, all right, quick breakdown. Got absolutely smoked in the three up sprint and then finished fourth in the Kieran. Um, yeah, I was honestly pretty stoked either way with, with regardless of how the results came out. But um, I, about halfway through the Kieran, I started racing like me again, hit a couple gaps, jumped up from sixth place to fourth place with half a lap to go. Um, I'm just so grateful to be here. These guys are so, so fast. Um, it's another level and I'm just stoked to be exposed to it and hopefully over the next few weeks, rise to that challenge. So let's go. Got any words in Spanish for us to finish off? <clears throat> Tus ojos? De la Estrella. Miele. Angel. Mi amor. Corazón. Café con leche. Oh no, Americano? What? Muy bien. Muy bien.